today's video, we're going to Andretti to do some go kart racing. Yes, Isn't that sir. right? We're taking the go kart to go go karting. coming a little earlier in the morning so that we could get time without other racers on track but we'll just have to deal with it one of the things we noticed about the last time that we came here when there were multiple other people on the track was that when people would start crashing and stuff they would start slowing down other people's carts to avoid accidents and that slows down our lap times and it made it a lot less fun for us yeah the first time that I came here I was able to basically keep it pinned the entire time and I didn't feel the car slowing down for me at all. Whereas the second time that I went, you could feel the car slow down a ton for you whenever there were crashes, anything. There are good downhills on this track where you have a lot of potential to pick up a lot of speed, but last time we were here, we couldn't. So fingers crossed, there's nobody here and we're able to race it hard and focus on lap times. So that's the uh, that's the game plan, let's make it happen. Yep. Getting ready to go up. From what I can tell, the tires don't look as bad as the last ones I got. Granted, they aren't very good, but better than they were last time. The last part that I had was understeering pretty heavily on the sweeping downhill that you guys will see. But we're gonna go out there, focus on our line, try to get a good lap in there. A problem that Marcus and I run into a lot on these tracks that a lot of people are fighting for position and they aren't taking a good line even though we're in the back where you're probably going to end up catching up with them pretty quickly okay, okay.
either. I got your GoPro, bro. Oh. So perfect. What are we doing? Blew off on that corner back there. It came off on that corner. Let me box. You're heavy. That guy, that guy totally oh. dropped his GoPro and I took it and it's still recording. You guys want to say hi? No. Hi! You lost your GoPro. Sorry. Uh, we wanted to just say okay. uh, This guy dropped his GoPro on the track so I picked it up hi. and it's still recording. Uh, sorry about your GoPro. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
I wonder if he'll be mad. Welcome back to episode 476 <laughs> of our YouTube and Ready's vlog. Right now. Uh, today we are looking at people racing. These are the guys. I hope he's Marcus. Ah, uh, me too. I don't know what your name is, but you're probably one of those top two right there. I don't know if you can Hopefully, see. Hopefully, because. Yeah, I just gotta assume that your name no, is in. Uh, I don't know how to stop you. I just. Oh, that was bad. So Marcus and I finished up our last lap out there, or our last race. We're gonna go ahead and do another one in a couple of minutes, but um, how'd you feel about that race? I felt really, really good about it. I felt like I was able to shave some time off in certain areas. You guys look, you guys can see right here. So that corner right there where it goes up, around, and then it comes into this slalom part right here. I was able to improve my line on that corner. Every time Josh would go around it, by the time we were done with that section, I would be on his ass right yeah. there every time. So I'm gonna work on that line a little bit more. And then I need to work on the corner in the back where it goes back down because I keep understeering into the corner. And whenever it wheel hop, you know you're losing time there. Um, and I had a lot of wheel hopping coming around that uphill before the loop over there. Same thing as Marcus on that last sweeping corkscrew, I get a lot of understeer. Um, I'm giving it as much input as I can, and the cart is just steering directly into the wall. I'm just gonna try taking a later apex. Uh, another thing that I kinda wanna work on is that I was starting to get towards the end is uh, initiating a later apex on that turn right there. The more sweeping just before the hairpin, um, because I feel like you can cut in sharper and get a better line around the hairpin, or at least it's the line is there. I just need to find it. So I'm gonna go out, try to improve on both of those times. Um, hopefully, run quicker ones and get carts that are like the first one I had that doesn't understeer quite so much. So fingers crossed. Let's see what goes on. So Marcus is gonna be taking the chest mount uh, for this race, and then. Instead of doing the head mount that obviously didn't work out so well, um, I'm gonna try a wrist mount. <laughs> it's meant for your wrist, but I'm gonna mount it as high on my arm as I possibly can. 
try to get you guys the best view of that. So, yeah, we'll see y'all then. Right. These um, front tires here, this one doesn't look so bad, but this one here, it, it's really rough on this inside tire. So, got to be very careful on left turns. I'm not going to have much traction, and I'm more than just expecting some uh, understeer. So, we'll see what happens. How are your tires looking? That one doesn't look bad. That's like the same. Okay, yeah, we're in the exact same spot. I'm the same exact one. Wow. This tire is okay. The other one is terrible. So, in that corner, just right there, we're gonna be trying to take a later apex and then on the corkscrew as well. Now the speed's on. Maybe not. He's got the better view. And my car is making a really weird rattling noise in the rear. So that's a thing.
as I got that path through, that was lucky. Wow, this car handles way better than my last one did. I say that as I seal the tires.
could go for lap times more because that car actually felt way better than I expected. Yes, there was still under steer in the course through. But the car itself felt good. It felt quick and there's nothing I could do because I kept getting caught up in people. We'll see what time I was able to put down but I didn't feel that I got a single clean lap there. Alright. That was a good race. I made up a lot of time. Dude, I had such a good race. I had such a terrible I, race. I didn't get a single clean line. So that race, uh, I managed a 37-2. Josh got a 38-1. And we had about a almost a second gap between us. What's really that disappointing was, is that like we both agreed that these carts actually handled way better than we expected. This cart was honestly probably better than my first one, or at least I had more confidence in it than I did with my first cart. However, I just, every single lap, I ran into traffic. I had a couple of really clean laps. I got really lucky firsthand because since I was out at the front of the pack, by the time I was crossing the finish line for the first time, everyone was just getting out on track. So the people in front of me were super slow. They didn't have a line figured out. And I was able to pass four people in one corner, which was sweet. There was plenty of overtaking. Uh, I have no idea how many people I overtook, um, but it was great for overtaking, not so much just for lap times. So that was fun. That's Andretti in the colony here in Texas. Um, if you guys are in the North Dallas area, I highly recommend checking out Andretti. It is a lot of fun. Try to go at, or like go on unusual days uh, at unusual hours and you'll have a better experience because there's just less crashing. There's less of a need for them to slow your cart down for you and you can genuinely try to put in your best lap time, which is nice. We have to send a huge shout out to the Andretti staff. They were super kind to us, they treated us well, and I didn't feel my cart getting slowed down at all today. Also, our head mount GoPro flew off and one of the uh, workers grabbed it for me and I think I even caught him filming with it for a little bit. So um, if he's watching this video for any reason, a massive shout out to him. Also, if you guys remember, the taillights on the S2000 used to be tinted, a uh, very dark tint. They were basically completely black before this, whereas now you've got them looking nice and clear back to that 
nice OEM finish. All right. Now we get to drive the go-kart home from go-karting. Yep. Um, this has been another episode of Headass Garage. Let us know in the comment section what you guys want to see, what you guys think. Have a great day. Peace.